Here, in front of the Ukrainian embassy in Tbilisi, gestures of support are many and emotions are high. Ukrainian war is our war. If they lose, so we might be the next. We had the war before and we felt the Russian aggression on, on our shoulders. Since its move on Georgia in 2008, Russia has recognized the independence of two territories that it has occupied for many years. Ukrainian flags can be seen everywhere in Tbilisi. According to a poll, one week after the attack on Ukraine, 87% of Georgians felt that this was their war, too. Since 2008, one NGO in Tbilisi has been fighting the hybrid war waged by Moscow and its agents. These are the participants of our media literacy classes. These are not journalists. These people are with different backgrounds. They are engaged actively in fighting Russian disinformation. The foundation ramped up its operations after Russia attacked Ukraine on the 24th February. The mandate given to them by Facebook to track down fake content has been extended. We intensified our work covering not only Georgia, but Russia, Ukraine, Belarus. We are dealing with huge flow of disinformation. One rumor spread by Russia has been particularly concerning to these moderators. It's about the development of bioweapon in uh, Ukraine and Georgia. And Russia uses uh, this information uh, for further invasion because we witness multiple statements from Russian officials saying that we will never allow testing bioweapons near our borders. The Georgians have been taking the Russian threat very seriously, especially since separatist South Ossetia announced a referendum to join the Russian Federation.